Yo guys, so this is your boy Ethan are back at the Benefit. It's me looking at a Lego Jurassic World set. This is, doesn't have a particular theme other than the Jurassic Park Velociraptor Chase. Yes, this is the one of the only sets from the whole Jurassic World Lego line that is dedicated to the movie. But it, yes, it's the Jurassic Park Velociraptor Chase, the second man for ages 6 to 12, and it's set number 75932. And it has 360 pieces. It comes with a random Velociraptor, presumably the big one. And it comes with Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, Lex Murphy, and Tim Murphy. Really nice design up here with the raptor in the gate. Once we look at the back, we have some play features. And there's the collect them all and build your own hybrid campaign. Really nice. And just some nice play features. Now onto the minifigures. Our first minifigure is Alan Grant. And he has some nice shirt printing with some pants. I can presume he has pants, and he has his normal hat, really nice back printing, and he has a stud shooter. Just sadly no pant printing, but he has his stud shooter, and when you shoot it, you can. Here, let's shoot right here. And that piece is gone forever. But Grant does have his just normal face, but no other face. He does have some hair. But the part about the hair that I really don't like is how it's not really movie accurate. If you look at this, that hair doesn't really look nice. I wish they used the Emmett piece, Emmett's hair piece, but you know what? It's whatever. I just rather the hat on. And again, the hair with Ellie Sattler. Really nice shirt printing and really nice leg printing with dual molded, molded legs. But it's the hair for me. I mean, I guess this is when she was in uh, her survivor mode. But even you would have just put her in her blue shirt, not just the uh, pink. She does have a worried face and a smirk, kind of like Claire's face. But in the video game, this is the hair, like in Lego Jurassic World. Her hair is this right here, that yellow. This is her, her, in the, her hair in the Lego game, but this doesn't come in the set. But that's just what it was. But I do think this is an okay, but we've seen Lego Jurassic World color this many times, especially for like Soy characters like Soyana Santos and Claire. It's just not unique right now, but still really nice shirt printing, her, her worried face, and just really nice dual molded, molded legs. And our next minifigure is also the last character. I mean, I, I mean, no. I think that all the characters in this set have one problem, and it's the hair. Lex doesn't suffer too much, but I wish they gave her mid legs, not these ones that can't move. But also, Lex, her hair is white. I mean, her hair is like yellowish. It's not really like this. And she had a cap on. She has a happy face, and she also has a worried, sad face really nice shirt printing though. i really do like that in the video game she's uh taller though than this yeah and our next main figure is the last one that suffers the fate it's tim he has really nice shirt printing really nice back printing but the hair also shows some of that mad and that sad face he's a happy optimistic face and a sad face Again, he doesn't have, he has the mid, he has the tiny legs. But if you put this hair on it, him, I mean, that looks pretty movie accurate to think about it. But not just that flat, plain hair. No, 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 not that. So, yep, now onto the dinosaur. Our dinosaur is a Velociraptor, and it's just a plain brown Velociraptor, which is what I really like because usually the sets come with a specific one. And it's got some really nice brown and its mouth can open, its arms can move, and you can pose it, and its tail is pretty rubbery. I do really think this is a good Velociraptor. I think this is one of my, one of the reasons I really wanted this set. But still, a really faithful one. This could be the big one. It could be the big one. The big one is mentioned by Robert Muldoon, but it could be the big one. Now onto the build. Our build is a bunch of different things combined into one. So let's start in the middle, I guess. So we have a window, which you could put um, the Velociraptor through. So, so you could some stickers. There's an easily new blood sticker. You put the Velociraptor through there. And the window just has the Jurassic symbol. And there's a couple buttons, and there's the use the Nublar thing. 
over here is some stairs to walk up. And over here is a phone, which is like when the phones are working. And here's a bin full of a umbrella, a wrench, and a walkie-talkie. And over here is a little area where you could put Lex and she could hack the system over here. And there's the, uh, 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 you didn't see the magic word uh, thing, which I think is really cute. And then over here, you have the door locks. So like this, it's, uh, it's not able to work. Like you can open the door with the Velociraptor, but then when you close it up, you notice there's some Technic pieces and... So you push that in, and then you can't open the door, but you can take the door lock out, or you can put it back in. Next, we'll come over here to the embryo cold storage restricted. You can come through through that door. There's a security cam. There's some steps up here. And over here, if you notice, there's the Barbasol can, which is where Dennis Nedry used to steal the embryos. Up here is uh, some embryos, so that's pretty cool. I don't think they're supposed to stick up that high, though. And he just got some bone railings over here for pieces, and that's about it. Now, over here is the kitchen, which I think is a little too small, but it's fine. We have the jello, which they were eating, a table right here. We have a chocolate bar on the end with a really nice, useful print. There's some yellow rod in there, maybe some soda. There's a hot dog, which you're supposed to put here, but it always falls off. You were noticing that noise. Over here is some silverware, and there's a pot there and a pot over there. But if you open this up, you see that there's a over there. So you could, like, put Tim in here or Lex, but I'd put Tim, and you can have him in there. But he kind of sticks out over here. But it is a nice play feature, I think with this it's just not like the thing i think it's supposed to be like the mirror scene so when lex is trying to get in it and she was struggling on purpose so the velociraptor would see i think that's what it's trying to do now you might think we go on to the little scene but that's not what happens yet because fun fact about this lego you see those are those are little technic pins in there with three rods guess what this can turn into this is three separate sections, so you could rearrange it however you want. However, though, it wouldn't make sense. Like, why is there a door there? But it could be three different sections. So if you want a different diorama, you could have your different diorama, you know, the hot dog on the floor. You could have your different diorama. So you could have the kitchen scene, put that over there. You could have your embryos and stuff over there, Barbasol can. And you can have that over there. But if you just want to rearrange it, it arranges pretty good. You just put it in like that, and there you go. Well, no, you have to put in the Technic pins, but I'm not going to do that on camera. Now it's a little see in the packaging. That's how I work. Oh, but wait, that was a trick because you have a ladder, which I almost forgot about the ladder. But still, it is a very nice ladder, but you can use it to pretend there is just no vent up there. Now onto the little scene patching and then the final word. Come on, Lex! Come on, Lex! Uh, boot up the door locks! I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying. Come on, Lex! The door is locked. The door is locked. It's locked, it's locked, it's locked. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, up the ladder, up the ladder. Dun, 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 oh, oh, up the ladder. Yes! No, 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 no. Ah! Now onto the patching, the front work. So for our instruction booklets, there's two. So for our first one, the first one just covers the first bag. And there's some weird Spongitsu Masters ad, and there's a Lego Life blue ad. Here is the bag to which co I mean instruction to which covers that. But then you see that there's a campaign for 2018 uh, Lego City sets. But then you see that there's the campaign for Jurassic World. So you can get these different set numbers. But there's a mistake. This T Rex doesn't come in this Junior set. So 
that's the mistake. And also, I think the mistake is the tail for the Indoraptor does not go out that way. So over here, they have a sets checklist that doesn't include this one because this one's a Walmart exclusive set. And it was $40, but now it's retired. I have these top three. One, I have these three. One, two, three. I'm still building Walker to State, so don't expect a review on it till like Friday or something. So yeah, I do want to get that Sneaky Mullock set soon, but yeah. On to the final verdict. So on a scale of one to ten, this set is a nine. It's a really good remake. What puts it from being a ten is the hair, obviously, like I said. Maybe you could have included the fifth figure, which could be Dennis Nedry, because like why do you have that barber salt can? Or maybe that's just like a cameo, maybe stating something. But Still, I do think the hair in this the this set really sucks for these characters, especially Grant because of that. But it is a really great set. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I will see you guys in the next LEGO review. I'm going to do lock on a state. I'm going to try and get that out as soon as possible. See you in the next video. Bye.